Hi, I'm Reuven Carlisle, State Representative from the 36th Legislative District in Seattle, which is Belltown, Queen Anne, Magnolia, Ballard, some great neighborhoods in Seattle. I've asked uh, State Representative Jamie Peterson from Seattle's 43rd District to join us today to talk about domestic partnerships. It's so important in terms of so many people throughout not only our own districts and all of Seattle, but really, of course, the state of Washington. So I really wanted to ask Jamie how we're doing in terms of domestic partnership legislation this year, how we are in terms of larger context of the movement toward equality, and what he thinks we need to do to step up and make it happen. So with that, thanks for joining us. And I just wanted to ask you, Representative Peterson, kind of what you think about this bill this year and where we're headed. Well, you know, we have over 5,000 couples now across the state and literally every legislative district who have signed up for the domestic partner registry. In the last two years, we've created nearly 200 rights and obligations for those folks that have provided really important protection for their families. This bill finishes up that process by extending all of the rights and obligations that go with marriage for domestic partnerships. So, for example, if a lesbian police officer is killed in the line of duty, her partner would be entitled to the same death benefit that a married police officer would get. Or if a teacher retires, uh, then his or her surviving partner would be entitled to receive the same pension benefits that any married teacher would expect already. You know, these folks pay the same taxes uh, and they really are entitled to the same treatment from us as a state. The bill is in the House Judiciary Committee right now. The Senate passed the bill a couple weeks ago, 30 to 18, and we're planning to vote it out tomorrow morning. That's great. And can you give us a little bit of context when we look at the national picture uh, in terms of the activity movement toward true equality, where are we in Washington state relative toward uh, full uh, marriage equality? Well, we're certainly not out on the bleeding edge. Washington is one of about six or seven other states that are creating a separate but equal kind of institution. Uh, not ready for marriage yet, uh, but as preparation for that and trying to do as much justice as we can uh, are providing a separate status for uh, gay and lesbian couples and their families. Uh, those include, at this point, California, Oregon, um, uh, New Jersey, and uh, Maine, the District of Columbia, so New Hampshire, so a growing land, Vermont, of course, so that's a growing list. Um, so we're in, we're in the right part of the, of the list, and obviously we hope that over time we'll get to be better. That's great. And then the obvious uh, question is, where, what do we need to do now? What do we need the people of the 43rd District and the 36th District and all of Seattle and all of the state uh, who really are passionate about equality, what do they need to do to help us right now? Well, there was a good group of people who came down to rally, um, several hundred folks who were here for Equality Day a few weeks ago. Last week, we had 2,400 people who came to rally against the domestic partnership bill. And I think everyone understands at this point that the legislature is likely to pass this bill. But what people need to be prepared for mentally is that the right wing has announced its intention to send this bill to the ballot, to do a referendum challenge on this bill. And we can't be outgunned like that in terms of public organizing if we're going to be able to defend this law or be forced to defend it in November. So uh, people need to keep a careful eye on that signature gathering effort. They need to make sure, especially for relatives and friends who live outside of Seattle, to share with them why it's important to pass this bill and to preserve it, and ultimately why it's important for us to extend marriage equality. And then if we do have a campaign on our hands, we expect that there's going to be millions of dollars brought into our state to try to oppose this expansion of domestic partnership. And um, people will really need to get engaged to try to defend Washington from that outside influence. We know that there are solid majorities of people in the state, uh, 58, 36 in the latest polling that I've seen, who agree that domestic partners should have all the state law rights and obligations that married couples do. But there will be a lot of lies thrown at the bill about how it in, uh, affects religious freedom and freedom of speech, how it's going to affect public schools and tax-exempt status for churches. We saw that with Proposition 8 in California, and we can expect exactly the same thing here. So it's going to take a lot of people standing up for the truth uh, and for equality to make the bill into a law. Great. Well, with that, 
Thanks so much. We're fired up. We're doing all we can. We're proud to have you as uh, chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. Thanks, Thanks so much. Very much Have a great day. Cheers. Thanks.